Okay, so we're taking a look at how to create a Hangout on Air. So part of it is first you'd have to sign in as Oscar Causey. I'm putting in an email, the username, password, stuff like that for Oscar to get in. Um, you basically want to start a, a Hangout on Air and you won't go live at first. But basically if I, I'm searching for it, I hit Get Started with Hangout on Air. Uh, they move this around every once in a while, so it's hard to sometimes locate where the latest one is. But if I move down, I see start or schedule the Hangout on Air. I'm going to hit this plus.google.com, Hangouts on Air. Um, sometimes with the Oscar Quasi account, because we didn't really create a Google Plus account and a YouTube account and all that other stuff, something might act a little bit funky. Uh, but for the most part, you're looking for this page. You want to create a Hangout on Air. Okay? You don't want a straight-up Hangout because then it's not going to go live to YouTube. Uh, we want to create a Hangout on Air. Once we hit this, it's going to ask us uh, what to call this thing. So we're going to say Test Drive Hangout. Uh, this you can fill out if you want, but you don't, know how, uh, you don't have to at this point because you can go back and uh, edit later. So we're going to say LRA test drive. Um, you could set this up for later, but what I feel like it uh, is much easier to do, this is if you want to set up the event for later, but the thinking is that you'll show up basically a half hour ahead of the show just to get people in. I usually say now and hit share. Uh, what it'll do is it'll start up an event for us. So this is the event page. Sometimes we share this out. Um, we thought that people would go in and ask questions and stuff like that. They really don't hear. But basically, let's say we're at a half an hour ahead of the show. I'm going to hit start. So this, you should know, this is the frame for the general Hangout. The difference between a Hangout and a Hangout on air is obviously that the on air part is broadcasting live to YouTube. Uh, and it's going to archive to YouTube immediately. So this will get started. Um, at this point, you will be the only one in here right now. I typically at this point skip the invite guest piece um, just because it's easier to do it on supplemental pages. I hit skip. So this is getting up and started. It'll take a little bit of time. Um, for right now, my mic and camera are muted right now, but I don't think it really matters. Um, at this point, what I will typically do is I will either grab this link and email it to the participants, um, or you can, there's my cursor, you can go in and invite people. So what I'll usually do is I'll grab that link and share it out so that people can come in. I'm not sure about this link here, but this link right here should, unless something has totally changed, if they click on that, they should be able to go right into the Hangout. So we're going to test drive that just to make sure that I'm not fibbing. That should bring them right into the Hangout. And yep, it is. All right, so once again, I'm not using this link. They're probably the same, but I we know that this link up here, uh, come on, come on. We know that that link up there will bring them into the Hangout. So you can share that. What you can also do is add their names in here. Okay, so I can add in different people. Um, if you have their emails, you can also add their emails uh, right here, and it'll ping them with the email. So typically, I'll send them this link. I'll also add their email here. If you're friends with them, or ask, actually, if Oscar Causey is friends with them uh, on Google+, Plus, they'll be able to get in. So once you send those invites out, you basically wait. People start showing up for the Hangout. Um, they get into the Hangout, everybody gets started. You'll notice that I am still off air right now. Um, so you get everybody into the Hangout, everybody's ready to go. Um, you explain to them that the chat is over here, that the chat is basically where you as the producer will let people know, you know if there's questions or the host will know if there's questions or if there's people that you had to mute uh, because their mics were a little bit too loud. Uh, the way that you mute people is you can just come in here and, and mute, unmute people and stuff like that. So if somebody's getting a lot of feedback, you're going to want to mute them. Um, the only other thing that I really do it before a show 
is I'll show people the chat. I'll tell them that they can mute, unmute. I tell them up here what these buttons will do. Uh, they will have the mute, unmute. They can turn off and on their camera. They can adjust their bandwidth. So if their bandwidth is getting wonky, they can go in and, and tweak that. Um, the settings part is good because if they if their camera is not working or sometimes people on a Mac, their uh, mic will not work because it's trying to use a different mic. So you can change the mic there and stuff like that if they're having issues. Um, the only other thing here that people really like to mess around with um, is the lower third. So if you go over here, come on, click on the Hangout toolbox, it'll load up the app. Um, sometimes people love this, sometimes I don't really want to bring it up because if it doesn't work perfectly and they can't figure this out, then they get frustrated and you don't want them frustrated 10 minutes before they go on. So basically the lower third, you know, most of you have already seen it, most of you have already played with it. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it, but the lower third's there. Um, so that's the chat, that's the different settings. I let people know what those are before they go on. So basically right now, let's pretend it's showtime, we're ready to go. Um, what I will typically do is, as the producer, you don't want people to see you and hear you and stuff like that. You want to sit back for the hour and just do work. Um, so I will mute my mic and mute my camera so that people don't see me at my desk working and they don't hear me. Um, coughing and stuff like that and yelling or whatever. Um, so what I will do is mute my stuff. Uh, you hit start broadcast. As soon as you start broadcast, uh, it is a lot quicker than it is, but it'll start up the broadcast and you will go live to YouTube. Um, so basically I'm going to hit start broadcast. It tells me I'm going to go live. It says going live. Then at this, this point, they're live. Typically, the host will recognize it and they'll get started. Um, you know, I will either unmute and say, okay, you're live, or you know, send them a message to let them know that they're good to go. So then the show is going on. Everything's great. You're muting, unmuting people. If there's issues, you'll send a note here, and you know, you'll basically tell them, check this out. Um, if there's a question from Twitter or some other place, or if you think of a question, you can put it in there. Um, when the show is all done and everybody says their goodbyes and everything else, uh, then what you want to do is you hit stop broadcast. The broadcast will stop, but the hangout will still be there. So they're not broadcasting to YouTube. They're not live. Um, at that point, you know, you don't want to hang up immediately because then people will say their goodbyes. You can turn off your you know, you can turn on your camera and your mic and say hi to everybody. Usually I thank them for, for being there. Um, and then when you're done, 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 you hang up. And I'll show you that. While we're still in here, uh, last couple things. If there's anything really great in the chat, sometimes I'll copy it and paste it over to the show notes. Um, you don't have to. Uh, but down here, if you click on links... Um, you'll get the embed code. I usually ignore that for now. The event page, we already saw that. But sometimes what I'll do is I will send out or tweet out the YouTube page. So the YouTube page will be the, the video itself on YouTube that people can check out. Um, so at this point, the show is done. Everybody's done. Everybody say goodbye. Everybody's gone. Um, you've copy pasted whatever, but the show is done. Uh, I pretty much leave the call. It'll give me a notice that the Hangout's over and that it will go to the YouTube video manager. Um, and the nice thing about that is that we basically, uh, on Oscar Causey's YouTube channel, the videos will pop up and then we can go in and edit those later. But that's pretty much it. That's the whole process behind it.